eigenvalue feature number one, if there is a column that has a single non-zero entry, and that entry is on the diagonal, then that entry is an eigenvalue. For example, in this matrix, the little crosses denote the values that don't matter. And seven is the only non-zero entry in column three. And it's also in row three. So it is in the same number column as it is row. Therefore, it's on the diagonal. Then seven is an eigenvalue. Let's see why that is. If we multiply this matrix by the vector 0, 0, 1, 0, then it will effectively pick out the third column of the matrix. And the result will be 0, 0, 7, 0. And here comes the eigenvalue question. Is the result a multiple of the input vector? And the answer is yes. It is precisely 7 times the input vector. We therefore conclude that 7 is an eigenvalue and 0, 0, 1, 0 is an eigenvector. Let's take a look at a few examples. In the first matrix, 2 is alone in its column, and it's also on the diagonal because it is in column 1 as well as row 1. For this matrix, we can therefore conclude that 2 is an eigenvalue, and 1, 0, 0, 0 is the corresponding eigenvector. The second matrix has many more zeros, but that doesn't really help with identifying eigenvalues and eigenvectors according to the feature we're currently discussing. Now, if we move on to the third matrix, the two is still an eigenvalue, but now there's also the six. This, this entry is alone in its column, and it's also on the diagonal because it is in column three and row three. Therefore, in addition to the eigenvalue we've identified previously, 6 is also an eigenvalue, and 0, 0, 1, 0 is the corresponding eigenvector. Moving on to the last matrix in this row, the diagonal matrix. When it comes to diagonal matrices, this feature helps identify all eigenvalues and all eigenvectors, because all of the non-zero entries of the matrix are alone in their respective columns, and are on the diagonal by the very definition. So for a diagonal matrix, the eigenvalues appear on the diagonal, and the eigenvectors are always the same. In this case, one of the eigenvalues is 2, and the corresponding eigenvector is 1, 0, 0, 0. Another eigenvalue is 3, and the corresponding eigenvector is 0, 1, 0, 0. The third eigenvalue is 6, and the corresponding eigenvector is 0, 0, 1, 0. The last eigenvalue is 8, and the corresponding eigenvector is 0, 0, 0, 1. Now it is very important that the non-zero entry appears on the diagonal. If you look at this last matrix, the 6 is alone in its column, but because it is in column 3 and row 2, it is not an eigenvalue. If we attempt the same multiplication and multiply this matrix by 0, 0, 1, 0, it will once again pick out the third column, and the result will be 0, 6, 0, 0. And now is it a multiple of the input vector? The answer is no, and we therefore cannot conclude that 6 is an eigenvalue of this matrix. This concludes our discussion of single non-zero entries in columns as giveaways for eigenvalues.